What's up guys, Elite Warrior here, and I'm showing you guys the new title update that I actually just downloaded, not like five seconds ago. So, I'm actually just going to explore what we have, and I'm going to explain what is actually in the update itself. Um, so, I'm going to just create a new world, and um, I'm also, like I said, going to explain what's in the actual update. Uh, what the fuck do I, uh, sure. Oh, here we go, actually, it's right here. Okay, so, um you know redstone uh, new items you know you can read this I'm gonna read it off the actual thing I have do 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 yep okay so I'll just start a match and I'll just explain if you don't already know so uh, oh, that's pretty cool oh okay that's how they do it okay yeah so I was gonna say they now have texture packs and uh, mashup packs um, texture packs are in the PC. I'm pretty sure the PC also has mashup packs as well. What the difference is that texture packs just change like the actual texture. Mashup packs are like a themed thing from other games. Like you can have like a Star Wars theme, Halo theme, Borderlands, whatever. You can make that and download it. As of now, they don't have any of those things. Um, it is noted that the mashup pack, um, there'll be trials just like skins are, like skin packs. And um, you're going to need to buy full versions of those they won't be free so the full versions of the mashup packs will not be free just so you guys know texture packs are free as far as i know that i've looked up so i'm just gonna put it on easy uh so that's all i know yep i'm just gonna create a world whatever um so i'm just gonna go through here so yeah um they updated the tutorial world they added a favorites tab to the skin selector menu so you can store your most favorite skins or whatever um, you can now dispense boats and minecarts that's helpful if you like to build stuff I guess um, new cave sounds um, new AI for mobs um, and mobs now drop rare items so I don't know what that means I don't know the specifics for each mob but they do now drop rare items so that's pretty cool um, villagers will now have children Okay, so I spawned in here. I probably should have just went in creative mode, but I'm actually just going to search through here and just try to find a jungle biome. Um, yeah, that might be slightly tougher than I expected. I was hoping I would just spawn in one. That doesn't look like it happened. These don't look like jungle trees in any way possible. But yeah, so, um, you know, I'm just going to run through here. Um, let's see. Uh, what am I looking at here? I'm gonna find a jungle biome eventually. But um, so other stuff that uh, zombie seizures will occur at night sometimes, not every night. So be prepared. Um, which means a bunch of zombies will just pile up and like attack you in your house, I guess. And zombies can now break down doors, so you might have a zombie siege that breaks down your house, but it can only happen in hard mode. So if you're playing on anything other than hard. You'll be absolutely fine. If you're playing it hard, that's why it's hard. So, that's why they do it. Um, crafting recipe for ladder. Like, they, they always update that so it's a little easier to do stuff. Um, when you place blocks on grass, here, I'll actually show you that. If you place a block on a grass, it should, yep, it just replaces it. So, that's pretty cool. So, now, it, it used to just float when you put it on it, but now it just replaces it. Which, you know, it was a mild inconvenience. It wasn't really anything that was big. So I'm in a, uh, oh, I found the jungle. It's over there. I can tell because the trees are like 40 times taller than a normal tree right here. Um, so we're going to get over there, and I guess I'll just look around for other stuff. Um, lava now has a faint, like, rumbling noise, so I guess you can hear it better. Um, very rare desert wells can be found in desert biomes. I uh, really don't know what that means. I guess it's like kind of like a dungeon in the desert I guess you can find like items and chests and stuff um, or maybe it's just like a well that you would normally find I mean I, I really don't know um, the amount of boats is increased to 40 that you can put on a map and uh, when the nether snow golems when in the nether excuse me wow snow golems will melt and die same as they do in desert biome so I guess you can't bring snow golems into the nether anymore, I guess I'll just melt, whatever that means, 
Um, abandoned mine shafts can now spawn wooden bridges if they're spawned over a cave. Uh, and then doors have been updated, so like if you put two doors beside each other, it'll work better with redstone. Like if you try to do it before with like uh, like pads and stuff, it'll like only one will open. I guess they'll try to make it better where both of them open and then they both close instead of them alternating, which is very helpful. Did I not go to the right place? Did I? Uh, I'm confused. Oh, wait, never mind. Over here. That's a long way. Shit. There it is. Okay, so we're still getting there. Very close though. Oh, I need food. I don't really care. Um, I guess I'll just walk it. Um, so those are all the general updates I did. Uh, world creation. They only have two. You can build. Uh, the height limit is doubled from 128 to 256, so you can build stuff double as you could before, which is uh, really helpful if you like building giant buildings or whatever. Oh wow, that is different. I think that is a. That might be a. Cocoa. Uh, Cocoa thing, whatever freaking called. Uh, Cocoa pie, that's what it's called. Um, so, and then obviously the jungle biome, which is um, what I am in now. You can tell giant trees, they look different. Um, I'll just break this and see what it looks like. Oh, that's pretty cool. So, yeah. Um, you get jungle wood for new items. You get jungle wood, planks, stairs, leaves, and saplings. Uh, cocoa pods, chiseled stone brick, but that's only in creative. Redstone lamps. Um, and then in creative only, you can use mob heads as for like decoration and stuff. Um, and ocelot spawn eggs, which are wild cats. And then once you train it, um, I don't think it's with bones. It might be with something else that wouldn't really make sense. But once you train it, um, oh, that's pretty cool. Yep. So, oh, it's so much easier. So yeah, you get cocoa pods now. You don't have to go find a dungeon anymore. Um, so that's way easier. It's really cool. I'm going to try to find an ocelot. I don't really know what you have to feed it to make it a cat, but that's what it turns into. Like a wolf is wild, and then when you train it, it's pretty much like a dog. So an ocelot becomes a cat when you train it. Um, the cool thing about cats is that um, creepers will stay away from your house. So if you do have one, you won't be blown up randomly when you go outside. If you have one just sitting outside your house, the creepers will get, I think, like 10 blocks away and then not get any closer. And uh, new mobs, Iron Golem, Ocelot, and Baby Villager. Uh, Iron Golem is made by a T with iron with iron uh, blocks, and then you put a pumpkin head on top. Um, I wish I could find a village. I would probably see one. And, uh, of course, Baby Villagers. Um, it is noted that they sometimes won't spawn depending on how big the village is. Um, they probably will spawn more than not, but it's not 100% likely that they will, so don't be shocked if you don't find any. This jungle is ridiculous. Um, so yeah, and uh, some tweaks they put in. Villagers can now open doors, so now they won't be trapped in and out of their house, which sucks because I love doing that in um, earlier versions of the game. I would just put a bunch of villagers in the house and like burn it or something when I got bored. I know that's awful, but it's pretty funny. Um, now for people who, I guess, might have been complaining about it, slabs and stairs can now be placed upside down. Um, I guess that, again, is for people who like to build stuff. And uh, items can now be placed directly on upside down slabs and stairs, so that's pretty cool. Corner stairs automatically change its shape, so I guess they now have corner stairs as well. Um, I'm dying. That sucks. Dropped items are rendered in 3D, so if I drop this block, it'll actually be in 3D. That's pretty cool. Ah, oh, that is cool. Okay, so, I, I like that. That's nice. Ah, that is pretty cool. Um, and then, finally, they updated some textures. I'm not exactly sure what they updated. And a notable bug, I think, is in the thing that they're going to update, or that they patched... I think it is mine carts now move slowly even when they're on powered rails. I guess that uh, is a bug that they know they have to fix. And, you know, um, uh, an update after a major update. And if I didn't say, this is update 12, title update 12. So title update 13 will be just a bug fix. They won't add anything other than just fixing stuff. So I think that's pretty much it. Um, I know that 4J has a Twitter account and they update it constantly with new information so 
I'll keep an eye on that for anything they say about texture packs and mashup packs. But like I said, texture packs will be, I'm assuming, free because it didn't say anything that I read. But mashup packs will not for free versions. So it's just like skin packs. You can get the, the you know, free version. You get like five or six, you know, skins. But there's like 20 or 30. And then, you know, you have to buy it for, what, two bucks or something. But uh, mashup packs will, I guess, have a trial or just on cooler versions or, you know, more used or better mashup packs will cost money other than you know free versions or whatever so you know don't be shocked if that happens to you and you want to get a cool thing and then it doesn't work out so uh you know that's pretty much it i can go into creative mode as well and look at all the other stuff but you know these updates are free obviously you don't have to oh cool village i'll see if there's iron golem before i uh sign off here but uh yeah you know if you have minecraft for this game you know just update it and you can explore all the cool stuff there's also you know Ocelot spawn eggs, so you don't have to uh, worry about that. I think my friend is going to get on soon. That's pretty cool. Um, I don't know if Iron Golems spawn in the village. Um, I'm not 100% sure on that. Uh, but the Iron Golems are like a protector, pretty much. Um, you can't trade with the villagers or anything yet. I'm pretty sure that's going to be in future updates. Um, I also read that, you know, horses and the wither and other stuff like that will also be in future updates, so uh, keep a good eye out for that stuff. Probably in a couple months or so, they'll have that stuff up, but uh, pretty solid update as far as I can see. It's, uh, you know, the Xbox is moving really fast, you know, a little over a year, and it's it's definitely made lots of upgrades, so... If you guys love Minecraft and you want to check this out, obviously you just go on it. It'll update automatically. Shouldn't take too long. It was like 41 megabytes. So uh, that is pretty much it. This is Elite Warrior signing off. Hope you guys have a good day, and thanks for watching.